An astounding 10 tons of raw platinum ore is required to produce a single ounce of pure platinum, and its value is approximately 30 times that of gold, showcasing the extraordinary rarity and worth of this prestigious metal. Discovered in the 18th century by Spanish explorers in the New World, platinum was initially seen as a nuisance by the conquistadors, who were unaware of its potential and threw it away in their search for gold. Today, platinum's remarkable properties are harnessed in catalytic converters to reduce vehicle emissions, in medical implants and equipment due to its biocompatibility, and in electronic components for its excellent conductivity and durability under extreme conditions. This metal's application in industrial catalysts also plays a crucial role in the production of silicone and other chemicals. So how is it made? The production of platinum begins deep in the Earth's crust, where platinum ore is mined in a few select areas around the globe, primarily in South Africa, which accounts for over 70% of the world's platinum supply, followed by Russia and Zimbabwe. The extraction process starts with the mining of platinum-containing materials, such as sperilite and cooperate, which are platinum-bearing minerals. These precious ores are located up to 3 kilometers, nearly 2 miles, below the surface, requiring extensive and deep underground mining operations to access the valuable platinum group metals they contain. The mined ore undergoes a series of crushing and grinding processes to break down the rock and release the platinum-bearing minerals. Heavy-duty jaw crushers, which apply mechanical pressure to the ore to break it into smaller pieces, initiate this process. Following this, cone crushers further reduce the size of the crushed ore, utilizing a gyrating spindle to compress the material against the outer walls of the crusher, achieving finer particles suitable for the subsequent stages. This is followed by flotation, a process that involves mixing the crushed ore with water and special regions to make the platinum particles hydrophobic, allowing them to attach to air bubbles and rise to the surface in a froth that can be skimmed off. Following flotation, the concentrated platinum ore is subjected to a smelting process. Here, it is heated to over 1,500 degrees Celsius or 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit in a furnace, causing the metals to melt and combine with a flux. This forms a matte layer that contains the platinum group metals, including platinum, palladium, rhodium, ruthenium, iridium, and osmium, which is heavier and sinks to the bottom allowing it to be separated from the slag. The mat is then transferred to a converter, where air is blown through it. This oxidizes the iron and sulfur, which are removed as slag. What remains is a concentrated bulk of platinum group metals. This concentrated mass undergoes further refining processes, including leaching with aqua regia, which is a mixture of hydrochloric and nitric acid that dissolves the metals. The solution is then subjected to a series of chemical reactions that separate and purify the individual metals. After the refining process, the purified platinum is ready for its final transformation into the valuable products we use. This stage begins with the platinum, now in its pure form, being melted in a furnace at temperatures exceeding 1,800 degrees Celsius, or 3,200 degrees Fahrenheit. This molten platinum is then cast into molds to form ingots or directly used in various manufacturing processes depending on its intended application. In the case of industrial applications, platinum is often alloyed with other metals to enhance its properties for specific uses. For example, in catalytic conversion platinum is combined with palladium and rhodium to maximize its effectiveness in converting harmful emissions from vehicle exhausts into less toxic substances. For medical applications, the biocompatibility of platinum makes it ideal for use in pacemakers and implantable defibrillators. Here, platinum's ability to conduct electrical signals without corroding in the body's environment ensures the long-term reliability of these life-saving devices. In electronics, platinum's exceptional conductivity and resistance to corrosion find it a role in manufacturing high-end computer components and mobile devices. This involves depositing thin layers of platinum onto silicon wafers or other substrates, a process requiring advanced techniques such as physical vapor deposition. Platinum is crucial in enhancing the performance of computer hard drives and in the production of high-precision resistors and capacitors, ensuring devices operate more efficiently and reliably under extreme conditions, such as high temperatures and corrosive environments. Furthermore, the production of jewelry and fine watches utilizes platinum for its aesthetic appeal and durability. Skilled artisans and jewelers craft platinum into various designs, emphasizing its luster and strength. The creation of platinum jewelry involves several stages, including casting, forging, and hand finishing to achieve the desired quality and finish. Given its rarity and high value, recycling platinum has become not just a necessity but a lucrative business. The process of reclaiming this precious metal from various sources, be it spent automotive catalysts, electronic equipment, or industrial catalysts, plays a critical role in sustaining its supply. Remarkably, it's estimated that up to 30% of the platinum used in manufacturing and consumer products is recovered through recycling. This significant recycling rate is essential as it substantially reduces the demand for newly mined
mined platinum, ensuring a more sustainable approach to meeting global needs. The recycling process begins with the collection of platinum-containing materials. Automotive catalytic converters, a primary source of recyclable platinum, are gathered from scrapped vehicles. In electronics, platinum is recovered from circuit boards and other components where it's used for its conductive properties. The collected items are then processed to extract platinum and other valuable metals such as palladium and rhodium. The ability to recycle platinum and other precious metals efficiently is crucial for the future of technology, automotive industries, and environmental conservation. As techniques and technologies for recycling continue to advance, the percentage of platinum reclaimed and returned to the market is expected to grow, further emphasizing the importance of recycling in the platinum supply chain. One of the main challenges in platinum recycling is the separation process. Due to the complex nature of the materials being recycled, which often contain a mix of different metals and non-metallic substances, advanced separation techniques are required. Pyrometallurgical processes involving high temperature treatment are commonly used to burn off the non-metallic components and separate the metals. This is followed by hydrometallurgical processes, which use chemical leaching to further refine and separate the platinum from other metals. The equipment used in these processes must be capable of withstanding high temperatures and corrosive chemicals. Furnaces for the pyrometallurgical process and leaching tanks for the hydrometallurgical process are key pieces of equipment. Which metal do you want to hear about next? Let us know in the comments.